back to my channel it's Sabrina so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get my salon like ac acrylic or gel if you want to call it it's kind of a mixture of the both I've been doing this for a few months and I really like the results and it saves some money <laughs> so these are my bare natural nails I did soak off the set that I had previously to film these videos so these are my natural nails bare with nothing on them and this is freshly soaked off First thing I do is I shape my nails, I make sure I file, you know, the edges, make sure everything's lined up, and I like a square shaped nail, so that is the shape that I basically file all my nails in, and just kind of even them out and stuff like that. And you can, this is like a medium grit um, nail file as well. So after I do that, I'm going to gently push back my cuticle and that's really all I do. I just push them back. I don't clip them or cut them or anything like that or get too abrasive because I just feel like I personally don't need that. After that, I'm going to go ahead and spray some rubbing alcohol on my nail and I'm just going to wipe away any residue or anything like that. The products I'm going to be using is a No Lift Nails Nail Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It makes sure that you hardly get any lifting and stuff like that. And I will also be using the gel Gelish Vita Gel Nail Strengthener. And this is basically a gel polish, but it's a thicker version and it's infused with vitamins to help strengthen your natural nails. So I really like that and I basically did a whole bunch of research on this before I actually bought it as well, but so far it's A1. Also, um, just for this first application, I'll be using the Kiss Acrylic Dip Powder. Basically, you can use any kind of dip, dip powder, just make sure it's fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my nail primer. And I do about two coats of this on each of my nail and I let it dry. So going in with the Vitagel Gelish Nail Strengthener, I'm going to do a thin coat. And I'm just doing one coat right now and I do make sure that I cap my free edges because you don't want any lifting and you want to make sure that every single inch of nail is covered with the Vitagel Gel Polish. So the Vitagel um, Nail Strengthener is thicker than the average gel polish so this is why I chose this one to use to do my technique but if you have any other clear gel polishes you can definitely use that as well with this technique so after I've done one thin coat on my nail of the vital gel gel polish I am going to go ahead and dip my nails in the acrylic powder and I just tap off the excess as you can see that I'm doing here after I dip it to just get as much of the excess powder off of it And then after I dip all my fingers, I just go ahead and use a brush to basically clean up the sides with all the extra powder because you don't want that on your skin or anything like that while you're curing the polish. And I'm just going to clean it up as best as I can. After I clean up all the powder off of the edges of my nail, I just go ahead and cure my nails under my LED light. I did get this from Madame Glam. I do have a 30% coupon code for them as well, so if you're interested, just make sure you check the description box. After I that, I'll just go ahead and lightly dust off any excess powder that didn't cure properly. And then I go back in and I do one final coat. And again, another thin coat and make sure you cap off your free edge as well. And then after I do that, I basically just cure my nails again, depending on your UV or LED lamp, whichever you're using, make sure you cure it fully so your nails are dried all the way. Now, this is basically my base foundation for my nails. So I only did this one coat and then I was done with it. But um, moving forward, more than likely, I'm going to do like two coats on top of the acrylic powder. So after I have cured my nails, this is what it looks like and I'm just going to go ahead and take some more rubbing alcohol. Now this is like 70% um, rubbing alcohol and I'm going to be using some paper towels to basically take off the tacky layer of the gel polish. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and go in with a buffing 
um, file and basically just smooth out any lumps or any bumps that may be in the nail. If you do a second coat of your gel polish, it will smooth it out even more. You probably won't need to buff, but I only did that one top coat on top of the powder, so I needed to buff a little bit. And then I go in with my file and basically just clean up my edges if I had any excess gel that you know may have collected in the corners and made it like chunky. I'll just file that down and just make sure my nails are neat as possible. And after that, I'll just go ahead and spray some more alcohol and clean off the debris. So these are my nails after it's done. It's going to look just like your natural nails. You just have a thicker coat on top of them now. It's going to help grow your nails longer because your nails won't be breaking as much so you can actually see the length now in your nails. If you like to wear your natural nails, you can just wear it like that, but I love to have polish on my nails. So I'm actually gonna paint my nails with this Sinful Colors Marvelicious Nail Polish and their Shine Top Coat. So this is the result. It's like a grayish um, purplish color. You can't really see the purple in here. But yeah, these are my nails. They last about two weeks, actually more like three, because I really only try to do my nails like once a month. But they last just as long as salon quality. Your nails are just as thick, but even better because the gel kind of moves with your natural nail, so it actually doesn't break as much and I just do regular fills as if I was going to the salon. If you guys wanna see how I do my fill, then definitely thumbs up this video and I'll make sure that I get that out to you guys. And doing a fill is very easy as well, but it does not require the acrylic powder. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye dolls. Mwah.